hi everyone so today we're going to be doing Everett's one month update do you want to look probably not you're like mom you're in front of these bright lights what are you doing I don't like bright you don't like bright see I don't know if you can hear this hear the baby noises but he is freaking out hi you're so cute cuddly I know look at the bright lights this is awful um, <laughs> so today we're going to be doing Everett's one month update and then my one month postpartum update. Um, I'll give you guys another minute of looking at the baby cuteness before I put him down because he is freaking out right now with these bright lights. He looks so cute! <laughs> his little sleeper, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys, but his little sleeper says hunk! Plus he's cute! Are you toots? That one month old? I think so. I think you're very toot. Yeah. Can you say bye bye ladies? I gotta go. First off, <laughs> I wanna thank you guys so much for being so understanding this past month. As you can see, um, I've finally set up like my little office area in this house. Um, I have my new computer behind me and my new lights all set up. So tell me what you guys think of this setup. I know it's not perfect yet. Um, I probably have some fidgeting around to do with lights and with the background and that kind of thing. But what do you guys think so far? Over the past month, I've really just taken this time to enjoy my maternity leave. Uh, well, maternity leave, content creators really don't have maternity leave. I've really just taken this time to enjoy myself. You guys have no idea how many times I've said, oh, I really need to film this video. I should really film and I'm so glad that I did take this past month and just really enjoy my time with my babies and enjoy this time by myself. I didn't take this time with Audrey. I jumped back into YouTube, I think it was like four or five days postpartum, and I'm really glad I just took this time. And I thank all of you so much for being so supportive and not <laughs> questioning me on Twitter and in comments saying, where's your new video and what's going on and all this stuff. I appreciate it so much that you guys have just given me this time um, so respectfully. And I, I just, I have the best subscribers ever. I don't know how else to say it. Um, so one second, I'm going to need to grab my phone because I wrote down all these notes about our one month update because my brain is mush because I'm waking up like four or five times a night. Also, I just wanted to preface this by saying, um, if you hear like cooing, that's Everett and his bouncer. And if you hear like clicky clicking, that's Lane. We're now sharing like an office space, so that's why. <laughs> First off, first thing, part of the update, I want to clarify, um, on his welcome to the world video, kind of like his uh, showing you guys him video, I got his birthday wrong. <laughs> I was like so out of it. I had a 28 hour labor. Um, so I was just, I was done. Um, and, and most of that, I think like over half of that was naturally laboring. So I think I got an epidural like, uh, five hours before he was born. A lot of that was natural labor. So I was just done. My brain was mush. So I said he was born on the 11th of March. He was born on the 12th of March at 7, 7, 15 p.m., honey? It was real close to when Audrey was born. It was around 7. Okay. So it was around 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, and he was 9 pounds, 3 ounces, and 21 and a half inches long. So, just to clarify, he was not born on the 11th, he was born on the 12th, and I was just a <laughs> completely um, tired and exhausted mom. So, um, that just, March 12th is his birthday. I know this video is a little late, uh, I've been meaning to film it over the past couple days, but I'm finally getting around to filming it, so I hope you guys will still appreciate it and love it. So, let's go into some of the things that's been on since he was born. When he was first born, he had... Uh, after 28 hours of labor, but I only had like a 15 minute delivery, so he's born very, very fast. Um, if you haven't watched our labor and delivery vlog, make sure to click on that down below. I'll link it down below if you want to see it, if you haven't seen it yet, because that was uploaded onto our vlog channel, The Reads, so it's a possibility that you, some of you guys haven't even seen it yet. So if you haven't, make sure to click the link down below to watch our labor and delivery video. Um, actually, I think it was separate, separated into two different videos, one for labor and one for delivery because it was such a long process. Right after he was born, he immediately got tested for his blood sugar levels because he was really shaky um, and his blood sugar was extremely low, um, but he also wouldn't eat. We had a lot of struggles in the first few days of his life forcing him to eat um, because he just didn't, he didn't want to eat. Um, it was the weirdest thing. Audrey came out and within 20 minutes she was crying for food, she was starving. And forever it 
We didn't even hear him cry for food for the first time till about maybe four or five days old. Like he just didn't want to eat. Um, so it was the weirdest scenario. My blush looks so intense, y'all. Hopefully it's not translating that way on the actual video. Um, so he didn't even want to eat at all. Uh, so it was a very tough situation where he, I really wanted to breastfeed, as a lot of you guys know. I wanted to breastfeed, but you can't really force feed a breastfed baby, especially if you don't have a surplus of milk yet, if it's just colostrum, you can't really force them to latch on and suck and drink. Like, you, you can't force them to do that if they're not going to want to. So right from the beginning, we had a lot of struggles with breastfeeding. Um, I would try and latch him on and he just wouldn't do anything. Um, so when he was first born, uh, he latched on and drank right away. And then it was hours and hours and hours until he wanted to eat again. Well, no, not even want to eat, but I was like, okay, well, this kid has to eat. Um, so I tried breastfeeding and it didn't work. So we ended up supplementing him with formula because this was like the middle of the night. And the next morning I was like, okay, we're not doing any supplementation today. I'm going to get him to breastfeed. He's going to latch on. I was very, very, very determined. I had people come into my room. I literally had a mental breakdown at the hospital. My husband can vouch for this uh, because so many people were coming into my room trying to get me to breastfeed. I had the doctors coming in, nurses coming in, nursing students coming in, lactation consultants. Everybody was coming in because I wanted help. Um, and he went from... I, I felt so bad. It got to a point where I was like, okay, well, I can't starve my child because I think he went from maybe it was like seven, six or seven o'clock in the morning was, no, maybe a little earlier was when he had that formula bottle. And he, I was trying to nurse, trying to nurse all that day. He didn't have another bout of formula till like, I think it was like five o'clock in the evening because that was the point where I finally gave in and I was like, okay, well, I can't starve this kid. Like he hasn't eaten in 12 hours. Um, and it was, it was a really hard decision to make, but his blood sugar was dropping. He wasn't eating. And like, what do you do? You know, I know so many people would say, you know, just breast is best. You keep going, but I'm not going to starve my child at the same time. So that started off with a very rocky road for nursing. Um, and I ended up at about four days postpartum when the public health nurse came by. I was just, I was a wreck. Um, and she said, why don't you try pumping? Because at that point, my milk had came in. I was extremely engorged. Um, he was still not eating because he had no urge to eat whatsoever. Apparently, he's not a part of our family. Um, <laughs> I, I, she said, why don't you try pumping and giving it to him in a bottle? If you're supplementing with formula anyway, uh, it's easy enough just to heat up a bottle of pumped milk. And then you're not in a lot of pain and you don't risk getting mastitis. You're not frustrated. Um, so I started doing that. And my God, did I ever become the most miserable woman alive. Um, because I was doing the work of three moms. I, well, that's what I felt. I felt like I was doing the work of both a breastfeeding mom, a exclusively pumping mom, and a formula mom. Because I was attempting to breastfeed before I pumped every time. So I would try and latch them on, attempt to breastfeed for like 20, 30 minutes. Then I would pump. Then I would have to sterilize everything from the pump. And I wasn't pumping enough to make up the formula that he needed during the day. So I was giving him formula as well. It was a hot mess. <laughs> I feel felt like I spent my whole day just trying to feed this kid. Um, so we are moved on to formula now. Um, I'll do a whole like long video explaining each stage of my breastfeeding story before you get all jumpy down my throat at me. Um, so if, if you guys want to see that, make sure to comment down below and say that you'd like to see my breastfeeding story. If not, and you'd just like to judge me right now, then that's fine too. That's, that's okay. That's your choice. Um, <laughs> But that's that's kind of our um, kind of our progression over how it's been the last few weeks. Um, he also had jaundice. Uh, with uh, starting at about day three or four, we started to notice that he was getting really yellow. Um, and I think at about nine days postpartum, we took him to the hospital and got him tested. And he had jaundice. He's tested positive, but it wasn't too extreme where he needed to go under a heat lamp or a light lamp. So that was good, but he did have jaundice. So that was another reason where he needed that supplementation. He needed to have a lot of food in his system because he wasn't eating properly. Because of the eating issues, he did end up losing some weight. He went from 9'3 
to 88 in the matter of like three days um, and then when we went to the hospital again at nine days postpartum he went back up to 94 so he has no concerns about his weight now now let's move away from the feeding issues uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, as for his clothes, he's wearing zero to three month or three month now, but he did stay a newborn for so long. I was so surprised. Audrey, like I said, she in her updates, I could she could wear newborn clothes for I think it was like four days. Like she could not wear newborn clothes at all. Um, he wore newborn size newborn till about a week ago. <laughs> like he he stayed a newborn for almost four weeks so it was incredible um, and even now he's in zero to three slash three month clothes which is just like something totally in a different realm for us because by when Audrey was this age she was already in like six to six to nine month clothes so <laughs> it's such a drastic difference because we didn't buy a whole lot of clothes in this size because we were like well he's gonna be in it for like a week so what's the point he's just growing at a different rate than Audrey was it's not a bad thing and it's not unhealthy but it's just it's different to us we've never had this before I forgot to mention this when we I was talking about him eating he is now eating four to six ounces of formula at a time so he's eating like a champ now no issues with him feeding at all um, it's just made a full turnaround in terms of food so I'm very very happy with the progress that he's made um, also stay tuned if you're wondering because I've went through all three stages with him I was exclusively breastfeeding then exclusively pumping well I went from exclusively breastfeeding to trying to exclusively pump uh, but being unsuccessful because I didn't make enough milk um, <laughs> to, to, um, to now formula feeding so I'm going to be doing my newborn favorites video it's going to be literally the next video I upload I'm going to be filming it today if you're wondering so it should be the next video that goes up in a couple days so make sure to stay tuned for that if you're wondering for newborn essentials regardless of kind of what you're doing because I'm going to be doing suggestions for uh, all types of feeding as well as just other newborn essentials as well seeing as this is my second baby in two years I have a pretty good grasp on what the essentials and favorites are for my newborn stage. As for sleeping, as as like everyone and their mother predicted, uh, he is not as good of a sleeper as Audrey was. Um, for those of you who don't know the background for Audrey, by about a month old she was sleeping through the night. Uh, he is not. He's not that way, <laughs> to, to say the least. Um, he's still waking up about four times a night on average and by a night I mean from the time I'm to bed not over a 12 hour span because um, to me that's unrealistic at this stage um, so for me I go to bed around midnight and I get up around eight or nine and he'll wake up about four times in that period so that's that's kind of the the run of the mill right now as for me uh, I am doing fantastic my recovery from this baby was like oh my gosh I have no <laughs> it was fantastic from the minute that I had him and the doctor said you've got no rips no tears nothing from having this nine pound baby I was like okay <laughs> this is fantastic um, so I had no stitches no rips no tears not even like those little um, what are they called it's almost like a rug burn not very fun uh, but I had none of that uh, literally nothing I went to the <laughs> this might be a bit TMI but you know you're watching a postpartum video so you probably want TMI if you're preparing yourself for this um, I went to the washroom right after having a baby and if you haven't had a baby before most of the time you're you're barely able to <laughs> withstand using the washroom after having this baby uh, and a lot of times you'll use like a peri bottle and tux pads and all these things just to make yourself it, uh, just to make it not so painful um, I, I had no issues I uh, prepared all these padsicles and tux pads and uh, witch hazel and got like two or three peri bottles I needed none of it I was wiping with toilet paper from like day one so I was absolutely fine in terms of like a below the waist healing absolutely back to normal like right away um, as for after birth, birth pain so or like cramping after you've had a baby holy crap um, <laughs> I think everyone says this but it's true what they say with every baby the pain after birth it becomes so much more intense with Audrey I didn't even notice it it was like it, it didn't even happen uh, with him I was like on a regimen of uh, 
painkillers just to withstand how painful these cramps and afterbirth pain were, pains were. It was intense. Um, but that lasted about two or three days postpartum and then it kind of went away. So it wasn't too bad. At about nine days postpartum, I got a really bad cold. This kind of played into switching from pumping to just exclusively using formula. I got a really bad cold at about nine days postpartum and my milk supply went from doing pretty good like it's not like I was making a sur extreme surplus of milk but I was making enough so that I barely had to use formula at all I went from that basically exclusively pumping to getting like five millimeters a pump session it was insane I got I went from like making more than enough milk that I needed to like nothing <laughs> and uh, it really affected um, pumping after that point because as much as I tried to build it up he was eating more and more each time he wanted to eat more because um, that was right at the phase where he was switching from eating two ounces at a time to four ounces at a time and it's like holy crap how the hell am I even gonna do this so that was a lot of the that was a lot of uh, what played into me switching from pumping to formula feeding was getting this cold I had no idea no idea at all um, I, I of course I didn't breastfeed that long with Audrey I breastfed for like a week um, and with that it was also pumping because I have, um, I'll go into it in the breastfeeding video if you guys want it. I never got sick till like a few months in with her, so to get sick so soon and then uh, my milk supply just went in the toilet, like <laughs> 0 to 100 real quick, or really 100 to 0 real quick, um, it, it was very, it was very hard to keep pumping when there was nothing coming out of it. it uh, like it was anyway it was it was just not something I was prepared for um, because I'd never experienced it before I'd never really even heard anyone talk about it before uh, getting sick and your milk supply just going away basically <laughs> so um, if any of you guys have experienced that before uh, leave me a comment down below because that I was not expecting at all as for postpartum depression I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering that because I do have chronic depression I had prenatal depression with him I had postnatal pre postpartum with Audrey I had prenatal with her uh, because it's not really uh, it's, it's hard it's hard when you have chronic depression to say like oh well this is all the depressions I've had because it's really just your chronic depression just spanning over your pregnancy and postpartum uh, but I haven't up until about two weeks postpartum I didn't see any uh, signs of it at all and once again I'm gonna get really TMI with you guys about two weeks postpartum at my two-week appointment I was prescribed uh, birth control again to go back on the pill and um, it just threw me back it was the happiest I'd ever been one day to crying and not being able to even get out of bed the next day like it was insane um, and I'm still kind of battling it. Uh, it's it really sucks. I'm like, I wish I just never got on this medication because who got, God only knows how long I could have lasted without having to experience depression again because it was honestly the longest stretch that I've experienced without depression in years. So it sucks that I was thrown back into it, but it's all you can do, really. Um, and I'm just trying the best that I can to make it through and it's not... It, it's hard to say but I just it's not the worst depression I've ever experienced but it's it's rough and I'm just handling it the best that I can right now as for baby weight I'm guessing a lot of other people would like to know about that as well um, about two weeks postpartum once again I was already down all the baby weight um, I don't know if that's just my genetics or what because same thing would happen with Audrey um, but I had I gained about 35 pounds in this pregnancy and by two weeks postpartum it was all gone uh, until I started taking the pill again, uh, and then I gained 12 pounds in one week. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now it's back again, <laughs> like raised its ugly head again for me to deal with. I've been eating healthy and trying to work out as much as I can because I got approved for low impact exercise at my two week appointment, and I won't be approved for high impact till my six week appointment in another week or so here. I've been doing my best to try and eat healthy and exercise, and literally this weight is not budging. It's like I have stuck on to you um, for taking this medication. So, <laughs> oh. anyway, 
So I haven't been, it's been very discouraging. Um, I, I know a lot of you guys are like, what's the big deal? Like it takes most people a lot longer to lose baby weight. It's not a big deal at all. Like it's, you're a month postpartum. Um, but to have it gone and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, I'm back. It's, it's not, <laughs> it wasn't very fun. As for pre-pregnancy clothes, I'm wearing almost all my pre-pregnancy clothes except for a couple pairs of jeans. Um, I still am wearing my maternity leggings just because they're super comfortable and I'm like, why the hell would I get rid of these? Um, but I am not wearing my maternity jeans any longer because I find them really uncomfortable now. So anyway guys, that is everything for mine and Everett's one month update. I'll go grab him so you guys can see some baby cuteness again <laughs> uh, before I end the video. You wanna say bye to everybody? He's like, no, I don't want to look at these bright lights, Mom. What are you doing? <laughs> so that is everything for our one month update. One, one, month par one month postpartum for me, one month old for him. Um, so we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>